It's insightful to learn in, uh, learn from others and think about how we creatively think through this together as a state, as an educational community, with the best minds in this state. I would say there's a, about 25 different districts. Uh, uh, there are five different intermediate units that are here. Um, and it really is great because we're talking about everybody comes, sees through a different lens. Um, and they come from different backgrounds, different school cultures. Um, so we're able to really talk about what's working for them. So the smartest person in the room is the room and so whenever you can come together with other individuals think through creatively what we might do we all come out with something that's a little bit better than what we could have come up with individually what we see is you know schools get pretty insular in their own little fiefdoms and it's sort of hard for them to really get enough of a chance to sort of take a step back think about the broader landscape, see what else is going on. And so the goal here was just talk about what's actually working in terms of recruiting, what's working in terms of reaching this next generation, what's working in terms of really trying to think about how do we help create the future of the teaching field. There's probably not a more pressing issue we have right now in Pennsylvania, and you could argue across the country. If we're not able to find qualified teachers and other support systems for our kids, their futures are limited. They won't be able to reach potential because they don't have the teacher who will inspire them or the support network that can help them meet the goals that they have in life. Our economy is gonna rely on that.